Hello, dear ladies and gentlemen. My name is Evgenia Yevpak. I currently study at the second year of a master's program on governance of science, technology, and innovations at National Research University Higher School of Economics in Russia. Today, I am going to represent to you our recent outcomes of collaborative case studies made together with my colleague Margarita Igumnova on a discipline, Management of Intellectual Property Rights, which is our elective course at the second year of curriculum studies. Our topic was Brainstorming the New Widget. Companies A and B both looking for the patent or... Let me first describe the case. Employees from company A meet with employees from company B to discuss company B's capabilities for developing a new widget. Discussions quickly move from fact-finding to brainstorming. The only agreement in place is basic non-disclosure agreement. There are some questions of this case. Who owns the patentable subject matter generated by the brainstorming session? What effect might this have on negotiations should the companies move forward with development? Can company A file a patent on the new widget? And how could the situation have been avoided? The following four slides will demonstrate our answers to the current questions. So first question was who owns the patentable subject matter generated by the brainstorming session? Uh, let me remind you the case conditions. Employees from company A meet with employees from company B to discuss company B's capabilities uh, for developing a new widget. Uh, we decided that uh, moral right for a subject matter always belongs uh, to a physical person or physical persons who creates the invention. Therefore, the names of all developers as inventors of the widget uh, who contributed in the development uh, will be listed in a patent which is going to be filed. For economic rights, the situation may be solved as follows. Generally, if company B's capabilities for developing a new widget are discussed, then company B has a patentable subject matter. Whether company A appoints any other company to solve the problem, another company will be the subcontractor for company A's technical task, and company A will be patent owner. In fact, companies A and B had a brainstorming together. Therefore, they can draft a collaborative invention agreement to share the future patent on invention. Or company A, as a customer, can hire the employees from company B for current project under employee invention assignment agreement. But we remember that the only agreement in place was basic non-disclosure agreement. And there was a question. What effect might this have on negotiations should the companies move forward with development? First, the companies agree not to disclose the technology and any outcomes resulting in the process of development of the widget to the third parties. Second, the employees of the companies undertake to keep a trade secret about special features and the process of developing the widget and not use identical features in the other similar projects for a certain amount of time. The following question was, can company A file a patent on the new widget? Our answer is yes. If the new widget is developed by the personnel of company A solely without any help of company B personnel. And secondly, uh, had company A hired company B as a subcontractor on this job, the moral rights and the authorship of invention belongs to actual authors, either from company A and or from company B, as physical persons. And the economic rights and ownership belongs to company A in case if uh, companies A and B agreed for such circumstances in Invent for Employment Agreement. The last question was how could this situation have been avoided? Let me remind you the original case conditions. Employees from company A meet with employees from company B to discuss company B's capabilities for developing a new widget and discussions quickly move from fact-finding to brainstorming. So our answer, how could we avoid such situation, is Employees of company A would develop the widget themselves. Or employees of company A would not have discussed the idea of a new widget with the employees of company B at all. Or employees of company A having known about company B's capabilities for developing a new widget would stop the negotiation so that they would know the necessary information from company B but would not engage company B in further brainstorming action. Or employees of company A would split the technical task on creating the widget on stages and assign each stage to a different company or between themselves. Or company A would place a tender proposal at state procurement official website. Conceptually, 
If I have an apple and you have an apple, then each of us has one apple. But when we speak about intangible assets such as ideas, if I have an idea and you have an idea, and we share them, both of us has at least two ideas. Thank you very much for attention. Hope my presentation was useful.